Good morning and Merry Christmas to everyone. It's the 25th of December and it's a Monday and we are eating out for our Christmas dinner today. Tam had booked it oh, months ago. Um, there was a lot of places fully booked. Now I'm talking about it probably August. So all my family are coming with us. Uh, we've already been out for a meal with some of Tam's family and um, we're hoping that they'll be coming up next week to have dinner with us as well. So, I'm ready. I'll just let you see what I've got on and uh, then we need to go. Right, so the velvet dress that I got, just black tights and strappy shoes with a small heel. Um, and this is uh, a wee pendant Tam got me for Christmas and I've got some other things but maybe another day I'll let you know. So yeah and I'm just going to put my red coat on and I've got a nice sparkly handbag as well. So yeah looking forward to not having to make food. So that's it. Cooking a three-course dinner on Christmas Day would be quite um, tiring for me. But if I prepared it, made soup, froze it, you know, you can do things like that and you can freeze them. And then it's just a matter of heating the soup up. And I don't know. I don't know. I would need to work it out, but I definitely do. But my son says he's going to host Christmas Day dinner at his house next year so we'll wait and see because probably I'll he end up helping him anyway so we'll see when it comes when it comes around we've got a whole year to wait yet but that dinner as I said was lovely I had steak I don't eat chicken or I don't eat poultry at all now everyone else does but quite a, a lot of them opted for the steak it was absolutely melt in your mouth it was so good and uh, a 
you know, turn up, carrot, um, Brussels sprouts, this beautiful sauce with it. It was really lovely. And um, fondant potato and roast potatoes. And the roast potatoes, I mean, I always say that when we go out and we get roast potatoes, I don't enjoy them as much as mine, but these just tasted like mine. Then we had, before that, we had um, roasted pepper and lentil soup, which was lovely. For dessert, I had Christmas pudding with brandy sauce, a brandy cream, and then we had tea or coffee. Um, it was supposed to be mints. It said mints on the menu, but it was actually be Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> so that's what we had. And then we were that full. That was us. The time we got home. And we did. And we're home. Had a lovely Christmas. I got beautiful gifts from my husband, from my daughters, from stepdaughters um, and son, stepson as well. And I appreciate everything. Um, I'm not going to show what, what I got, um, but I can tell you that this bracelet from Ted Baker was from my daughters and my son. And they also got me some makeup stuff and they gave us, both Tam and I, a voucher for the ivy, to go and get a meal in the ivy whenever we feel like it. And uh, oh, I, th I don't remember, th th chocolates and things like that. So yeah, it's been a lovely day, thoroughly enjoyed it, everyone's happy, they all enjoyed their meal and they're away home now to just sit back and relax. So all I want to say now is I hope you have had a lovely Christmas. Um, Merry Christmas to everyone and I will see you again very soon. I don't know when. I'm hoping that these clips that I've put together will upload. If not, I'll need to try and speak to someone about what's going on with my phone and <laughs> why I can't import my clips to make a video and then export it to YouTube. So I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully this will be all right now. So I'll speak to you later. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas day. Bye.